Now let me discuss about the valproic acid. Remember valproic acid is a very very important anti-epileptic drug. Why because this valproic acid it is having a broad spectrum anti-epileptic activity. Right, it is having a broad spectrum anti-epileptic activity. All right, so it's a broad spectrum anti-epileptic drug effective in all the types of seizures. Now, if you see the point here, why it is effective in all the types of seizures? If you take the mechanism of action of this valproic acid, right, if you take the mechanism of action of this particular valproic acid. It has multiple mechanisms of action. So that is the reason why it is used as a broad spectrum anti-epileptic drug. It is having a several mechanisms which includes number one, it will cause the blockade of the sodium channels. Right, it will cause the blockade of the sodium channels are use dependent sodium channels and thereby the sodium entry into the cell will be reduced and thereby the seizures or the involuntary movements will be reduced. So the other mechanism after the blockade of the sodium channels is the increase in the activity of the GABA. Now if you take this GABA, GABA is a inhibitory neurotransmitter. So if the levels of the inhibitory neurotransmitters are increased then the abnormal neuronal discharge will be reduced and thereby that will be used to suppress the seizures and they are used in the treatment of the seizures all right so the other mechanism is by increasing the activity of the GABA next the third mechanism of action of this particular valproic acid is this drug will also cause the inhibition of t-type calcium channels right will also cause inhibition of t-type calcium channels now because it will cause the inhibition of the t-type calcium channels this particular property is used in the treatment of the absent seizures all right next the fourth mechanism is remember we have an excitatory neurotransmitter that is called glutamate what this valproic acid will do is valproic acid will decrease the release of glutamate in the brain so will decrease the release of glutamate in brain. So remember because of this multiple mechanism of actions of this particular valproic acid it is used as a broad spectrum anti-epileptic drug right. So it will block the sodium channels and thereby will prevent the entry of the sodium into the cell it will increase the activity of the inhibitory neurotransmitter that is gamma aminobutyric acid and it will also inhibit the t-type calcium channels and it will also decrease the release of the glutamate within the brain. Now remember this valproic acid it is used as broad spectrum anti-epileptic drug. Now let me tell you like in which all various types of seizures we use this valproic acid. Now this valproic acid remember this is considered as drug of choice in case of GTCS that is generalized tonic-clonic seizures. It is considered as drug of choice in case of myoclonic epilepsy. It is used in the treatment of tonic and as well as clonic epilepsy. All right. It is used as a drug of choice in case of atonic seizures. It is used as a drug of choice in case of atypical Absent seizures, right? Used as drug of choice in case of atypical absent seizures. So, in all these seizures, the valproic acid is considered as the drug of choice. Now, I have discussed one epilepsy where there is cognitive impairment, which is nothing but Lennox Gastrot syndrome. So, this particular the valproic acid it is also effective. Right, it is also effective in case of Lennox Gastrot syndrome. 
So in case of Lennox gastroid epilepsy, this particular valproic acid is being effective. All right. And not only that, this particular valproic acid is also used in case of infantile spasms and as well as partial seizures as well as the partial seizures so but for partial seizures the drug of choice is carbamazepine but valproic acid can also be used whereas valproic acid is the drug of choice for gtcs myoclonic tonic clonic and as well as atonic and as well as the atypical absence seizures now now once you have started valproic acid to your patient remember it should be gradually stopped right this drug should be gradually stopped now why this drug is gradually stopped is remember to avoid withdrawal seizures this drug should be gradually stopped right so it should be gradually stopped to avoid withdrawal seizures right to avoid the withdrawal seizures next now not only in case of epilepsy this particular valproic acid is used in other disorders as well it is used in case of bipolar disorder it is used as prophylaxis in migraine right it is used as the prophylaxis in migraine and not only that you take in case of trigeminal neuralgia right you take in case of trigeminal neuralgia in trigeminal neuralgia the drug of choice is carbamazepine and those individuals who are intolerant to carbamazepine an alternative to carbamazepine will be valproic acid in the treatment of trigeminal neuralgia and recently it has also been used in case of tardive dyskinesia right recently it has also been used in the treatment of tardive dyskinesia now what do you mean by this tardive dyskinesia this is also a sort of abnormal involuntary movements this abnormal involuntary movements will be in the form of facial grimacing tongue sticking outside or in the form of lip smacking so these are the abnormal involuntary movements what we see in tardive dyskinesia and valproate can be used in the tardive dyskinesia now not only that remember it is also the drug of choice for bipolar disorder in patients having rapid cycles right so this is also valproic acid is also considered as the drug of choice in case of bipolar disorder in patient having rapid cycles right and if you take the metabolism of this particular valproic acid valproic acid is a potent microsomal enzyme inhibitor right it is a potent microsomal enzyme inhibitor all right so because it is a potent microsomal enzyme inhibitor so you have to take utmost care whenever you are giving valproic acid the drug drug interactions of the other drugs all right next now let me discuss the adverse effects of this particular valproic acid so before telling you the adverse effects let me shortly summarize the valproic acid so valproic acid remember it's a broad spectrum anti epileptic drug because it is having various mechanisms of action so that is why it is considered as the broad spectrum anti epileptic drug so the mechanism of action includes it will cause the blockage of the sodium channels increase the activity of inhibitory neurotransmitter that is gamma amino butyric acid it will cause the inhibition of the t type calcium channels and it will also decrease the release of the excitatory neurotransmitter that is glutamate now this valproic acid it is considered as drug of choice in case of generalized tonic clonic seizures myoclonic epilepsy tonic and as well as clonic epilepsy and as well as atonic seizures and in case of atypical absent seizures this valproic acid is used and this valproic acid it is also effective in seizure associated with the cognitive impairment that is lennox gastrot syndrome and it is also used in case of inf infantile spasms and as well as partial seizures 
remember once you start valproic acid this has to be stopped gradually in order to avoid the withdrawal seizures and it is considered as the drug of choice in case of bipolar disorders in those individuals who are having repeated cycles and it is used as the prophylaxis in migraine and it is an alternative to carbamazepine in case of trigeminal neuralgia and recently it has been found to be used in case of tardive dyskinesia and it is a potent microsomal enzyme inhibitor. So if you take the adverse effects of this particular drug that is the valproic acid. Remember the adverse effects it includes weight gain, next alopecia that is loss of hair. Whereas if you take with phenytoin, phenytoin was associated with hirsutism that is excessive growth in the body hair. Whereas this is associated with the alopecia that is loss of hair. Next, the other adverse effects include, remember it will also cause tremors and then carnitine deficiency. Alright, and then the carnitine deficiency. And the very important point what you should remember with the valproic acid is when valproic acid is given in children of age group less than 2 years old, this valproic acid will cause irreversible hepatic necrosis. Right? So it will cause irreversible hepatic necrosis in less than 2 year old children. Right? So that is why this the valproic acid is avoided in children of less than 2 years old because it will cause irreversible hepatic necrosis. All right? Now even though we consider this valproic acid is considered as drug of choice for absent seizures. Right? This valproic acid is considered as drug of choice for absent seizures but you need to remember that However, this particular absent seizures, they most of the time, they occur in the age group of 5 years. So, the valproic acid, even though it is being considered as the drug of choice for the absent seizures, and you have to remember a very important point that this particular absent seizures, this is more common after the age group of 5 years. So because it is more common after the age group of the 5 years, drug of choice for absent seizures in majority of the individuals it is being considered as the valproic acid. Right? In majority of the individuals, drug of choice it is being considered as the valproic acid. In rare cases, right? Remember, in rare cases, if the absent seizures if they are occurring in young children less than 2 years, right, in young children less than 2 years, if the individual develops this particular absence seizures, remember for these group of individuals, we don't give valproic acid. Why? Because this valproic acid less than 2 years of age, it will cause irreversible hepatic necrosis. So for this particular group of individuals, we give what is called as ethosuximide. Right, we give what is called as ethosuximide, right, and other frequently associated adverse effect with the valproic acid is acute pancreatitis and as well as hyperammonemia. That is acute pancreatitis is another frequently associated adverse effects, and the other thing is increase in the ammonia levels. That is what is called as hyperammonemia. Right? So acute pancreatitis and as well as increase in the ammonia levels have been frequently associated with the valproic acid. Now if this particular valproic acid if it is taken in pregnant female, right? if the valproic acid is taken in a pregnant female the chance of developing neural tube defects in the baby is very common. Right? So in the baby they develop what is called as the neural tube defects and what is that neural tube defects is it is spina bifida. So spina bifida is a very important neural tube defects that can be seen in baby like when the pregnant female if she takes this particular valproic acid and a very important point you should remember is in order to prevent 
this particular neural tube defects in pregnant female taking valproic acid what is being given to the pregnant female is folic acid so remember this particular folic acid administration should be done during pregnancy in order to prevent the neural tube defects all right so these are all the important adverse effects of the valproic acid so remember valproic acid the important adverse effects are weight gain alopecia tremors carnitine deficiency and in children less than 2 years it will cause irreversible hepatic necrosis all right and uh, valproic acid is considered as drug of choice in case of absent seizures and majority of the time these absent seizures it usually begin around the age group of the 5 years so valproic acid is considered as drug of choice for absent seizures but in rare cases where the absent seizures if they develop in young individuals less than 2 years there we give ethosuximide and valproic acid is frequently associated with acute pancreatitis and as well as increase in the ammonia levels and the other important point is if a pregnant female is taking this particular valproic acid there is a very great chance of developing neural tube defects in the baby and that particular neural tube defects is the spina bifida so in order to prevent this particular neural tube defects the pregnant female has to be administered folic acid and that will prevent the formation of the neural tube defect in the pregnant female